Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. Today we're going to be preserving some eggs. Stick around, I'll show you how it's done. Look at all these eggs. This is only four days worth. Chickens like it when the weather starts cooling down, heading towards fall. So I'm going to be using a medium harvest right freeze dryer to do this and I have the machine cooling down um, first I like to wash my eggs it also gives me a chance to float test them eggs are like fish if they float you don't want to eat them so I'm just gonna I can do one dozen per tray I've got four trays in the freeze dryer it works out really really well These eggs are pretty clean, so I don't need to do too much to them. Just rinse them off a little bit. No floaters, so that's a good sign. If you've ever gotten bloody egg, you probably know the value of cracking them into a bowl where you add them to your final dish. I like to do one or two at a time. It just keeps anything bad from making it into our final product. I've got a compost bowl over here off camera that I'm putting these eggs in. If we get, if we get eggshells, we want to try to pick those out. See the difference? This is from this, the chickens that were born this spring, and this is from some of my older ladies. I'm going to do them a dozen at a time. Once you get them cracked into the bowl, you just turn them into scrambled. Make sure all those yolks are mixed up good. And our machine should be cool. We're going to go ahead and carry this into the other room and pour it in. Started. All right, easiest way to do this, leave the tray in the machine, pull it out just a little bit, pour it in. Some people like to pre-freeze their eggs before they put them in. I find that for me personally, the machine does a better job than I would, and I really don't have room in the freezer. All right, let's go get the next batch.
All right, our eggs are dry. Took about 23 hours. I did give them a little bit of extra dry time. There's a couple of different ways we can save these. Super long-term storage is gonna be in these Mylar bags. Put an oxygen absorber in it. Um, for not quite so long, you can put them in a mason jar, also with an oxygen absorber, and vacuum seal the top. That's not going to last quite as long as the Mylar bag simply because you have, in the jar, you have exposure to light. Um, but if you're planning on using them in the next couple of months, then that's always fine. Make sure these things are dry. You want to check right in the middle. If they powder easily and they're not cold, that means they're good and dry. If you find any cold spots at all, it needs to go back in the machine. These feel pretty good. And they powder really easily. You can buzz them in a blender if you want, but it's not necessary. I do find it's easier to use a funnel. And I usually just powder it with my hands. And that allows me to check all of it, make sure it's dried all the way through. This feels pretty good. Each of these bags will hold two dozen eggs, and I believe that a mason jar, a quart mason jar, will hold about the same. The thing to remember, too, is that these are still raw eggs. Freeze drying them does not cook them, so if they had germs in them, they still have germs in them. I have oxygen absorbers here. I want to seal those as quickly as possible. I'm going to heat seal it. I like to put the reconstitution instructions on it as well. So two tablespoons of egg plus two tablespoons of water. One egg. Eat it. And we're done. And that's all there is to it.